Ooh, yo. I am watching this video. It's a live. Go Black to Africa is on live right now. And the video title is Black UK Woman Gets Jacked in Ghana. Was it worth it? And I thought I'd give my input on this. Now, I don't normally give. Here, let me, let me let y'all hear it. I just took a shower, y'all. You and you and Dakar, Senegal. You're in Senegal. You're in many countries in Africa. You do, you never talk bad to a police officer. You, yep, you never talk bad to a police woman, officer. You just can't do that. Or a young you person. So it's. I don't drop the clothes. I don't know why. I'm about to say something in a minute, y'all. Just listen to this. Deflect from. Not listening to what men are trying to tell them. This, we think logically. We don't want. This is uh, this is the uh, article. Somebody just sent this to me, right here of the lady. But go ahead. Yeah. Mm -mm. I um, even made some comments on the video. I I almost never want to throw my opinion out there, y'all. But this one's kind of relevant. Respect, you are totally wrong. I have had. Yeah, let me pause this one. video. The one right before okay i'm gonna stop the video i'm sorry if it if you didn't hear it very well but a lot of you that watch my channel also watch his channel and so what happened in the video or at least from what i saw which part of the live i was in he was speaking to a brother who was saying there's no reason the man should hit the woman go black was making an argument and a few people in the uh in the I guess the people he had brought on were making the argument that the woman should have held her tongue. The way I take it is both of them are wrong. It's a lack of self-control due to a desire to control. So what I saw when I watched that video, and it boiled my blood because I see it. I've seen it here. Tanzania is no different than Ghana in that regard. Women are not seen as people. I mean, no, <laughs> that sounds terrible, but they're not seen as, you know, having an opinion and you're, they're not empowered like you would see in the States. Not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying what I noticed. And this is a well-known fact. Tanzania is a conservative. And I'm doing that for a reason because it seems one way, but it's not always what it looks like. But it's a conservative country. And in being conservative, women do not speak up. People in general, I'm noticing, do not speak up here, but women in particular do not speak up. It's not culturally acceptable and it's not normal. So Ghana sounds to be similar, very similar. In fact, most African countries I've been to on and off camera are exactly this way. It seems that there's a divide in the reactions of the people. Some people say she was wrong for running her mouth. And I think that comes from a place of disdain towards the african-american woman's culture which is that you know we know our wonderful african-american women can be very vocal that doesn't work here i understand go black's point when he says she shouldn't have run her mouth it's not to say she's not entitled to an opinion it's to say that you have to know where you are when you are in these countries tanzania uh, ghana Gambia does it too. You guys would be surprised how many places are exactly like that. When you are in these countries, you cannot operate the exact same way you were when you were in your country, in the States or in the UK or wherever you come from. You have to be a little bit different when you get here because, and it's not to say it's right. This is not to give power to the argument that she deserved being beat because nobody deserves that. And he having him having no self-control is what that was. She didn't have the self-control to approach him with a level of decency and respect and address the issue in a different way. So in, in that way, she was wrong. In his regard, no man, because one of the, I was raised, and this is just how I was raised. My father taught me, you never hit a woman. No matter what she does, no matter what she says, you don't hit a woman. You have to be strong enough to actually walk away. That's how I was raised. So in, when I hear that, it, it rings a few bells and raises a few red flags in my own personal book. He didn't have the self-control not to 
I call it assault that woman. No matter what she said, if she did not get physical with him, he should not have gotten physical with her despite the culture. Now, I understand because of the culture, it is acceptable. It's acceptable here. It's almost expected here. There are tribes here, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, where if you don't beat the woman, she does not feel respected or loved. One tribe in particular, I think I mentioned it in a live, and it blew me away because this is a well-known fact here. There is a culture of dominance in older men because I've had situations where people are violent if I speak up. And I'm obviously not a woman. I'm a man. But because I'm a young man, it's the same concept applied. Older men are essentially the dominant thing in the world right now. And in general. I don't agree with it. I don't disagree with it. That's what it is. Here and in most of Africa, in most of the world really, elders are put above on a pedestal as well as men. So, and whew, to a fault, because here, one of the biggest problems I'm noticing in East Africa and specifically Tanzania is the youth have no opportunity because the elderly generation refuses to give it to them. They line their pockets, they give themselves all the opportunities, they do everything for themselves, and then when nobody is empowered, you know, because they're pushed down so much, they don't rise up. You know, we, we, we come here and say, what's the problem? How come the youth don't have jobs? How come? But that's a whole nother issue. I'm talking about this UK woman is in a terrible situation where she was beat, beat down, as the title suggests, by a Ghanaian man. I just wanted to make this video because, again, I, I wanted to throw my input in on it while it was happening. Because, again, I'm watching the video and I don't normally watch lives. Um... But it, it really made me mad. Let me see what else they're saying. Yeah, somebody said, Black Star Movements Association said she was physically assaulted, which is against the law. But that's not how Africa works. Laws are applied dis with discrimination. They are not, it's not, it's, it's so hard to put it to, in a way we can understand from our Western mindsets. In Africa and in most of the world outside of the U.S., the system is how do I feel about this person and what is perceptually normal. So if 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 someone can get away with it, they're going to do it. It's as simple. I'm sure it's the same in the States in that regard. But in, in, in terms of laws and things like that, you really have to push to get a lot of people to follow those laws. I've had that issue here. A lot of people have. We don't talk about it on camera because we'll get threatened. Locals will get threatened by their own I don't want to say too much because, again, we'll get threatened. You know, this stuff happens. We don't realize there is an image being put out. And right now that image is falling. People are starting to see what's really happening. You know, there's a lot of people that read the Bible. If you read that Bible and you ascribe to the ideology that we are the Israelite people, then you have to understand who these people are. Hamites. The Hamites are cousins at best. They're not brothers. They're not sisters. We can love on them. They're family still, but we have to understand who they are. And when you know who the Hamites are, you know who they are. So this isn't to sow discord. This isn't to say, oh, we should hate Africa or anything like that. This is just to put my opinion out there is that I believe both of them were wrong. She should have controlled her tongue or dealt with the situation differently. And he should not have hit her because the defining characteristic of a man in my book is the ability to control his actions. You know, you can't get so mad that you attack someone. That to me is a weak man, you know? You can't do that. And then for the woman, she had no self-control either. You shouldn't walk up to somebody in a country and your pride get the best of you and you start screaming at him. You did not deserve, she did not deserve to be hit. No, she didn't. But at the same time, I hope it woke are up to the understanding that when you're in a new place, when you're in a different place, you have to follow a different set of rules because you're not going to be supported the same way you're used to. In the U.S., if a man in public hit a woman, there'd be 10 men around him in a minute and they'd all be saying something. I don't know if that's changing now because things are changing in the States as well, but the way I see it and the way I saw it when I was growing up, and I'm not that old, that's how it was. Right. So if you look at what's going on right now, just to summarize, people are waking up to what's actually happening. 
people i saw a comment and a, 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 a woman was saying or at least from her profile picture it was a woman was saying you know it's it's i'm starting to feel like you know africa is just after our money there's some good people here but there's opportunists everywhere right and i'd say really 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 use your discernment if you have it i'm not trying to speak badly about any particular country or any particular situation but i will say if you see it you see it and if you don't you will but wow i don't know i hope i hit every point i was trying to make this is a quick video again it just really dropped into my mind i, I don't like that stuff i've i've i know personally six no yeah six um couples here right here in tanzania diaspora and tanzania and they're usually women and of those six about four of them are women and they're being abused in the relationship you know they're just and they don't talk about it they don't have youtube channels they don't discuss it every single one of them that i know is being abused in the relationship maybe there's one but i don't know her that well you know but this is this is just what happens here it's part of the culture it's part of the way things work people accept it if i can maybe one day do an interview with a tanzanian who is willing to speak the truth and speak their truth and really get into it it's an embarrassing topic especially for african-american women who are strong independent you know empowered people right it's embarrassing saying that this this man imposed his will on me in a sense you know so a lot of them won't talk about it right so that's what's happening y'all there's an awakening a pun in awakening and a lot of us need to realize we're still supposed to come here i, I said something and again i'm not trying to sow discord but the way i see it my ancestors were taken from a land some of them had farms some of them were uh chiefs some of them were, if you look at the history trace back who you are and you'll find that you weren't just living in the in the sticks you weren't just you know sleeping with lions no you were farmers you were some of them some of us kings and queens chiefs politicians at the time we had positions in the world we had positions in africa we had land we had businesses we had you know settlements we left we come back and we don't have that anymore if you ask me 400 years went by and nobody asked for us to come back and now we see we're not welcome in many places and it's not so much because the africans hate us no it's because we don't recognize each other anymore and if you really want to get into what what is biblically accurate because a lot of people watching my channel do watch read the bible and i'm not into any particular belief but i can use it as an argument as well and one thing that 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 good book says is when the children returned home they were not welcomed back you know i don't believe it is our role to build with just anybody it's our role to build with people who meet a certain criteria and unfortunately a lot of people not even just in africa you know i say it all the time anywhere you go you're gonna see it but we have to focus on where we're going. So a lot of us are coming to Africa and we're waking up to the harsh reality of what, what's actually here, you know? Um, <laughs> That's not to discourage anyone from coming though. Because again, there's a lot of people that have a great time here. There's a lot of people that have success here and there's a lot of people that are not having a difficult, you know, time dealing with people. So do not be discouraged to come. If you want to come, come. I suggest you wait until something opens up for you to get here. A soft landing of sorts. I won't say anything, but, you know, we're we're definitely, there's a movement happening and it's going to continue to be happening, but we have opportunists in that movement. And some of them look like us, and a lot of them look like us, and some of them come from where we come from. They're coming from the States, they're coming from the UK, they're coming from, you know, wherever in the West. Caribbean islands, all these places. And then, of course, there's the ones that are here. So, you know, it's an exciting time. It's a scary time. It's a happy time. And it's a tragic time, you know. But it's a time. And we have to be with the time. So 
hope you guys are well um sorry if this video kind of came off as negative i didn't want it to but again this is something that actually bothers me you know i don't really get on camera i don't talk about anything too opinionated i steer clear from that because my opinion doesn't matter it's my mission you know my mission is what's important how i feel doesn't matter and that's to me is what a man should be i have something to do and i'm gonna do it i'm here still building because i said i would finish that's it you know when every everything comes against me when i have people who i got some stories for y'all but that's for another day thank you guys for watching this video please like comment subscribe and share and peace